In today's video, guys, we got the new project, the Honda ATC 125M. So I'm gonna have you guys guess how much we paid for it in the comments. Uh, closest one to the actual price we paid. We'll get a shout out in one of the next videos. Um, but it's less than a hundred bucks, guys. That's your that's your clue. It's less than a hundred bucks. So if you guys can get the closest to the actual price we paid, we'll give you a shout out. Um, in the next videos or something, I'll announce who actually got the closest. Just leave a comment down below what you guys are guessing. Remember to only guess one time for everybody. It's, it's just fair that way. So, Anyways, uh, this quad, we picked it up maybe last week sometime in the rain. Uh, it was atrocious, nasty. Uh, you guys can see underneath this rag right here, the seat foam's a little, a little messed up. I just put it on there because it was kind of wet. But... Uh, Basically, the recoil was not engaging. It was a simple fix. I just pulled the recoil off. Uh, the dogs that engage on the cup were just not pulling out. I just took it apart, lubricated it with some, some lubricant spray, uh, and it's been working good. The transmission is stuck in gear. Pretty sure it's in fourth gear. Um, I actually drove it not that long ago, and I'm pretty sure it's fourth gear. So basically what we do is a high-low switch down there. We leave it in the middle so it's neutral. Let it idle down, and you can shift it into low range, and it's basically like second gear in high mode. So it's it's good for cruising around. Um, it is what it is for what we paid for. I'm not going to get too mad about it because it's probably something with a shift fork or something return spring of some sort. But you can pull on that shifter up down as hard as you want, and it can shift. So, and the previous owner told me that it was stuck in gear, so that's good. Um, it was seized up when we got it. We unseized it. It was pretty easy. It didn't really take too much. Uh, the carburetor was disgusting. The air filter was one of those uh, that if you touch it, it turns into dirt kind of air filters. So we got that out of there. Uh, tires are eh. Like a few of them hold air. Some of them don't. Uh, we cleaned the carburetor. That thing was nasty. Put some new fuel lines on it. Kind of flushed the tank out. Semi-decent. Uh, it has an old battery in it. I don't even know if the electric start works. I'm not sure if it will work because it doesn't go into neutral. I'm not sure if there's a safety on the neutral to see if, if it can only electric start in neutral. I don't know if that's a, that's the case. But uh, I put some different grips on it, some used grips, because uh, they had the stickiness to them from sitting outside in the sun. This thing probably sat for, oh, at least five years. I wouldn't uh, shy away of saying it sat for 10 years, guys. Like, wow, this thing was really neglected. I'm um, using the old plug that it came with it. Uh, it had spark right away as soon as we turned it over, so that was good. Didn't have to do any messing around there, just clean the carburetor and the fuel system. It's got a different kind of little pipe on the back. I'll give you guys a shot of that. It's a 1984. Uh, somebody put a little stainless pipe on it, kind of welded on there. It's got the toolkit still in the back there. Always wanted a 125M, just never got one until now. Except this one's pretty darn hosed out, but it does run and drive, guys. It idles nice. Um, I thought the engine was actually shot because before when I first got it, I would start it up, run it, and it would get hot. And then it would like act like it was seizing up or hydrolocking. It would just kill the motor, lose all the power. As soon as you let it cool down, it would start back up. Um, but I did, an oil, I did another oil change because the thing had absolutely no oil in it when I got it. Like the dipstick had pretty, pretty much dust on it. And uh, I'm guessing the crank bearings had some rust. So I put in some of the... STP motor treatment, that really thick stuff. I put half of that and half of another quart of regular motor oil. And uh, we'll see what that does for it. But it's been running pretty good. I just drove it not that long ago. I might uh, start it up and then I'll put the tripod in the yard and just take a few laps so you guys can see. It's definitely a hoopty and uh, definitely beat up. But for the price, guys, it wasn't too bad. Like I said, make sure you guys uh, give a guess on how much we paid for it. And I'm probably going to keep it around because I don't have much in it. And I sold the... Uh, Polaris Electra and the Skidoo Citation this weekend, so I made enough profit on that that this three-wheeler is free, basically, and I still made money, so very happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and try to start it up for you guys real quick, and we'll see if it runs. There you guys go. Sounds pretty good. Let's start 
pretty good. It doesn't smoke anymore. We're smoking a lot. I, I dumped a lot of stuff down the cylinder to get it to unstick. So it's probably burning it all out, and that might have been what was hydrolocking it. But as you can see, it idles pretty good, guys. I'm going to go ahead, take the camera, put it in the yard, and I'll get a few laps for you. All right, I got the three-wheeler warming up here. Uh, we'll take a few laps around the yard and show you guys that it does drive. It's in like fourth gear, though. I think it definitely has some uh, clutch fog. Here we go guys, it is smoking a little bit, but not bad. There you guys go. There is the 125M. Pretty rough shape, guys, but it does run and drive. Um, if you guys want to see more videos with it, and if any video ideas with it, please let me know in the comments down below. But make sure you guys also leave your uh, guesses on the price we paid for it. Leave a like in the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys in the next video.